the gold vaults of the Bank of England store bars worth around 200 billion pounds. They hardly let anyone film them, but the BBC's Frank Gardner was given rare access. He was allowed to go down, although he was closely accompanied by the Bank of England's executive director. It's incredible to look at, but it doesn't do anything. Why is it so valuable? Partly because it's rare. It is globally recognised. People want gold, so it creates a market. Gold reserves mined from countries all over the world are held down here for safekeeping. This is the second largest gold vault in the world. It's incredibly rare to be allowed down in here, and the numbers are staggering. There are over 5,000 tonnes of gold bars down here. They're worth more than 190 billion pounds. If you stacked all of these, one on top of another, they'd be nine miles high. There's enough gold here to make a billion gold wedding rings. If you scraped all of this into gold leaf, it would be enough to cover the UK six times over. What would this be worth, roughly? £475,000 at today's uh, market price. And most bars are in this, what we think of as a trapezoid form. Mm -hmm. so it makes it easier to handle. But this bar here from the United States is in the form of a uh, brick. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York, it is built on bedrock, so the gold can be stacked one on top of another. Here at the Bank of England, because uh, it's built on clay, we have floor loading limits, which is why we have the gold in, in pallets. During the Second World War, the vault was turned into a staff canteen, with all the gold being temporarily shipped off to Canada. And ever since the bank was founded in 1694, no one has ever stolen the gold.